Hello and welcome to another mind-blowing session from the channel of to office If you're able to get hang of what I'm going to tell you today, then it's my promise that you will be able to handle any complex formula in Excel and that too without the latest Office 365, which is loaded with multifarious inbuilt array formula. So today I'm going to discuss about how you can generate different sequences of numbers in Excel, which will ultimately enable you to interpolate vertical data into the tabular form and vice versa. You will also be able to create a calendar with single cell formula and many like this. For calendar, I will come up with a separate video. So let us begin. The first sequence of number that I want to generate is 1 to n. And this is a technique that I have been talking about in almost all of my videos. I want to create something like this 1 to 20 or something. So how can you do that? Suppose I want to generate a sequence of numbers from 1 to 20 in column G from this cell to this cell. So I will select these 20 cells beforehand and start typing the formula row and I can start from anywhere. I can start from like February say L2 to and I will select 20 cells from here. I will lock it. Row F4 plus 1 and then I will press Control Shift Enter. So as you can see you have generated 1 to 20 numbers in a single click. I will select it and copy this formula from here. Now the same thing can be achieved through multiple ways. You can get the same sequence of number with indirect function as well. Now ideally speaking, I will desist you from using indirect function as it's a volatile function, meaning thereby that it recalculates every time cell position changes. So unless it is really indispensable, it should be avoided. So I'm going to show you how you can generate 1 to 20 using indirect function. I'm deleting it and row indirect one two twenty semicolon closed that's it see it's so simple so I'm going to copy this one as well for your reference Now there are times when you want to generate a sequence of number which is based on some condition like I want to generate a sequence of number from 1 to whatever is entered in this F1 cell. So if I enter 5 here and I want to generate a sequence of number from 1 to 5 obviously. So 1 is it 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. one colon closed ampersand i'm fixing this one for control shift enter so this was if i want to generate one to five now say we want to have a sequence like um one five times this semicolon indicates the data is vertical so one five times then two five times then three five times like that so how we can get uh, that kind of sequence using int function. Int function returns the integral of an expression. Okay. So I'm showing you how you can do that. I don't need to select all 20 together. I'm just showing you how int function is going to work here. So to begin with, start with rows function, not row, rows with s. And since I'm sitting at H1, so H1, F4, then H1 and, and see what result it returns. It returns me 1. What I will do, I will subtract 1 from it and close it. 
after having closed I will use int so this is one I will divide since I want my data to be repeated five times so I will divide it by five I will close it and then I will find int of that and check what is it returning to me zero but I want one so I'll add one to it now you can drag it down till the last see one 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 five times two five times now this kind of sequence is very helpful when I want to populate some data which is vertical and I want to populate that into a table or some other pattern so this is one pattern now another pattern is like one two three four five this is vertical data then again one two three four five then again one two three four five so I want numbers to be generated like this so that time I used int function to perform or to achieve our task I will use this time mod function mod means mod returns me remainder again I will start with rows and setting on I I um, 1 F4 I 1 to I 1 so it's going to return me 1 I will subtract 1 from it it gives me 0 and now I'm going to find mod when I'm dividing this number with since the repetition is after 5 so I am dividing it by 5 and trying to find what remainder it is returning to me it's returning to me 0 I will add 1 to it now you can drag it down and see 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so sometimes you would like to generate a sequence of number like 2 4 6 8, 10 this is very easy you know how to generate 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 you just need to multiply 2 to it like select 20 cells beforehand or 10 cells beforehand whatever is your requirement and I will generate row this to this minus again row this one lock it and plus one so this generated 1 to 20 I want to create like 1 to 2 to 40 so I will multiply this by 2 and put it inside so 2 to 40 I generated if my requirement is to generate 1 3 5 7 then multiplying by 2 and subtracting by 1 will land me to this kind of sequence so I can show you I will copy this down Control C, Control C. I will delete it. And I need to subtract one and the end and control C enter C 1357. So like this you can generate these kind of sequences which are uh, in my opinion is very useful. so now we have a situation here I want these 12 vertical data to be populated in this 4 by 3 table or vice versa I want these 4 by 3 tables to be populated like these vertical 12 cells I will begin with converting this vertical to tabular form I want to show you what we have to do for that I will obviously use index function to populate these 12 data into 4 by 3 table so for that I need appropriate rows and appropriate columns so this is a single column data so every time my column will be one only the only thing that is going to change is January February March so that means one two three then four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
12. So I want something like this and I don't want to key in all these manually. Right? So I'm showing you very easy way. I have to perform this formula here but I'm showing you what I'm going to do. I'm taking an array 1, 2, 3. So this 1, 2, 3 means this array is horizontal and now I want to generate with the help of this array 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, then 10, 11, 12. So on the first occasion I am adding 0 to every item. Is it so? Then it becomes 1, 2, 3. Second time I am adding 3, then 6, then 9. So I will add what 0. And what kind of array this time it is going to be? This is going to be my vertical array. Single cell like this kind of thing 0, um, 0, 3, 6, 9. This kind of vertical array. So I will represent it with semicolon 6, 9 and C. And I am closing it. So I am going to use this kind of expression. So now you can do it very easily. I am generating this one comma two comma three plus zero semicolon three semicolon six nine. And if I press control shift enter and see what happens. So numbers are arranged like this. So this is what I want and I will use these uh, numbers in, in my index for, for, uh, argument. So I will uh, put it inside index. Index, my array is going to be this one, January to December. My row number is these numbers that I have generated. There's only one column, so I can leave it and press Control, Shift, Enter and see. I generated January, February, March and like this. Now what if I have this kind of data, 4 by 3 data, 4 by 3 tabular data and I want my data to be populated like this in single column. So how you can do that? So I will uh, populate this tabular data in vertical form at this location. So I am going to do, I am going to use int function rows sitting on E9 that's why I will lock it sorry I will lock it and e9 this becomes e9 to e9 this becomes 1 I will subtract 1 from it and close it inside a bracket now now I have to find integer integral part of the number which is this number divided by 3 as a repetition is for 3 time and then in the end I can add 1 to it. So it give me sorry I, e9 to e9 I pressed. So this is giving me 1. So I will drag it to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. These two, 5 are extras. So I generated sequence of number which I wanted to generate. And I am going to use these uh, generated sequence of number in my index as row argument. So I am putting it inside index, fu index function. So my index and my array is going to be this one. Four. This is my and my row number is C1 control Z and now I am going to generate my column number and what I want as column number 1, 2, 3. For January it is 1, for February it is 2, it is for March it is 3. Then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I will use this time this expression again. I am going to find mod of a number. What is the number? Number I am going to get with 
rows function and I am setting on uh, E9, E9, uh, lock it, E9 rows will subtract 1 from it, right? And after having subtracted 1, I will divide it by divisor, which is going to be 3 and then and the end. add 1 and then close the index function is it done and check what is it returning to me see January control Z and enter now I can drag it down till here I hope you like this video if you like this video share it subscribe it thank you